What's up everybody? This is Kenny. Welcome back to the channel. Got another tutorial for y'all. We're gonna be creating this. This right here. What is this? This is Caesar or Sizer Holographic Pearl Vinyl. So, this is what it looks like. Not sure. It looks purple, but it's not purple. So, this is the Mystic. The Mystic right here. Went ahead and just got me a little five yards of it because. You don't have to sublimate opposites as well. You can actually, they have settings for, just wanna go ahead and create whatever design or typography design. Or you can actually just create your design as well, get it cut through your vinyl cutter and sublimate that way. But I already got the sheet out. Um, I'm gonna be using the same design and I'm gonna take you through the tutorial and we're gonna see the final results. Quick shout out to all the subscribers. Thank you so much for those nice comments. And all those lovely questions, hopefully I can answer them. So let's get it. So size of holographic pearl, and they got these assorted colors. Red, yellow, green, blue. And if you scroll down, they got the application instructions for you. So this is regular vinyl, 320 degrees, 15, 20. And they also got the dye sublimation at 380, 30 seconds. So they give you some instructions. And this is for the type of cut settings for your vinyl cutter. So they got the graph text, they got the silhouette cameo, and they got the Cricut. So they got the settings should be, all right, 380. 30 seconds. Good to go. Go ahead and hit print. Now just remember, if you're new, this is Silhouette Studio. You can actually, this is free software that you can use. This is the free version. They do have a paid version and you'll be able to find your printer up through here, okay? Always make sure when you get your printer, check your preferences. Uh, I'm not picking a, uh, picking a preset, so I got this borderless. I'm gonna be using the small equal tank. Go to more options. Got it for high speed, mirror image. Advanced. I got the color controls, Epson Vivid, 2, negative 20 for magenta, negative 15 for yellow. I just like to double check. And just hit print. It's gonna come out of there. And you cut your vinyl. Make sure you save your little scraps. You never know you're gonna use them. This is our demonstration shirt that we have. This is a gildan. And actually, I'm not sure y'all can see that. It's 90% cotton and it has 10% polyester. So we gotta make this perfect, y'all. Perfect, perfect. Give it a pre press, get all the moisture out, flatten it out about five seconds. If you don't have a T square or a ruler, and you need to find the center point. Take armpit to armpit. And you 
press it down for like another five seconds. Not sure you can see it, but there is a small line right here. Or you can fold it the opposite way. Just press it down. So I'm gonna fold down. Four fingers from the collar down. I'm going to press this for five seconds and it's going to be a cold peel. Medium pressure. Make sure you have your settings, get your pressure knob, have it for medium pressure. Let that cool off. That way when you cold peel it, Place our design on there. Yeah, heat transfer tape. Tape it down. But you want to tack this on first, just in case you run this through your vinyl cutter and you got a different design. You know, you got interesting stuff going on. Just remember, this vinyl don't stretch. So once you get it on there, make sure you get it on there where you want it. This can't be no room for error. It's got 10% polyester in it. Heat transfer tape, I like to fold the end, that way it'd be a nice easy peel. Don't need butcher paper underneath since the vinyl's catching the design. But if you got butcher paper, if not, regular copying paper without the shiny side. That's to protect the ink bleeding through and getting all over your heat press, the top plate of your heat press. Now I'm just gonna press it for 30 seconds. Shot. So 
So that protected, probably can't see it, but the design is on the copy and paper. Man. No fly zone, that's dope. All right, so we finished up the tutorial. I mean, it came out pretty dope. What y'all think? No fly zone. So this is doable. I like this product. You know, if you don't want to sublimate, you can create a vinyl cut of your choice, or you can actually create a vinyl cut and have something different. Just make sure when you do your your print, just tack it down first, then lay your design over it. That way, the finishing product. Um, I just recommend heat transfer tape. Thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe. Drop any comments down below. What's next video? What y'all want to see? Y'all stay blessed and stay true. I'm out.